-hmm. I did uh, grow up in church, and um, we were at um, a local church, and my parents were very involved in the church. Uh, but something happened, and my family was hurt and offended at what happened, and we moved to a different church. Um, and the same thing, we ended up leaving. It grew up in me the, you know, the. Brother Copeland talks about a root of bitterness and it became a tree of bitterness. And it really ruled my, my whole life. The one thing that we did do though was we would listen to the Southwest Believers Convention. Um, and so like we, I was hearing all these great ministers, but there was something missing without the, the shepherding. And then I realized that Brother Copeland was going to be in Washington, D.C. And I went to my first victory campaign, first time I ever saw Brother Copeland in person. And he asked, you know, if people want to partner like he does, at, you know, uh, always the partner service. And I partnered with Kenneth Copeland Ministries when I was um, in my early 20s. And I was so excited. I actually got my partner packet and I got that card. And to this day, I carry that card in my wallet because it meant so much to me to partner with him. And I wanted, you know, my heart's cry was to have a place where that integrity in ministry and that authenticity was on display, but in a local setting. I would hear Brother Copeland say, find out where your church is and get in it, and I don't care if it's on the other side of the world. <laughs> and he would say it, and it would hit me, and I knew I needed this local church, but, but then it would come up in me from my past, well, you can't trust a pastor, and that bitterness would come up. And, and so I would say, well, there's no local church for me and my husband uh, got a job offer in California. And I knew, I just knew it was God. You know, I knew we had to go there and he was really happy about the job offer, you know. And so I said, all right, let's do it. So we moved to California and um, I found out that uh, Brother Copeland was coming to Sacramento um, to do a, a victory campaign. You know, I went in just like, I just need the word, you know, I just need to sit under this. And that year, his theme was igniting the fire of faith. And it set my heart on fire, just afresh and anew for the Lord. And I came home with this determination that I'm studying the word in the morning and at night. And then in September, I heard the Lord say, I want you to go to church on Sunday. So I haven't been to church in ages. I couldn't remember the names of the pastors that Brother Copeland had called up on stage, and the Lord said, go to the KCM website. And so I went on there and I found the, the partner church locator, and I found Family Community Church with pastors Bill and Cindy Krause. I've been going for uh, over two years now, and the Lord has healed the bitterness that was in me, and that bitterness was in all areas of my life. I had the best year ever last year when people were struggling. I got a th over 30% raise. And it reminded me that Brother Copeland said, when you get in your church, that's where your blessing is. That's where your prosperity is. And that was where my healing was in all in my thinking, in everything that I'd gone through. And my husband got saved, filled with the Holy Spirit and he's, he's serving God with me now. And he just, he's a different person, I'm a different person, all because I got into the local church. But I did that by partnering with Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And that partnership, that covenant partnership, was my tether to something authentic.